And already we're getting some jousting going as the puck is dropped and possession goes to Robert Morris to start. Turnover immediately though in the neutral zone and a chance for Michigan Tech. Shot comes in, just goes wide. Golden opportunity for the Huskies to start as that shot was fired wide by Parker Soretsky. Yeah, turnover in the D zone and then a three on two. Not the way you want to start the season. Right now back over towards the 1921 club. Eight seconds left to go. Long pass stretching out for Coleman trying to feed Adamo. One more chance for Robert Morris. Behind the end line it goes to Adamo. They're not going to get a shot off and that'll do it. 20 minutes of play is done. Nothing, nothing your score as the Colonials and Michigan Tech have managed to play to a scoreless tie after 20. Guy. They're all over the place, Tim. Was he from Espoo, Finland? <laughs> Head coach Joe Sean in charge of the Huskies in his third season. We're underway here in period number two as Michigan Tech sees the puck go behind its goaltender, Matt Jerusic. You can hear all the fans in front of us. Those are all from Michigan Tech. Point along the blue line. Pass goes over to Eric Goats. Tried to feed the left circle. Having to calm it down, unable to get a shot off is Hallinan. Long shot comes in, saved by Kappelmaster. Now Hallinan with another chance, turning shot, and it's under Kappelmaster. He makes the save with his body. 125 left to go in the PK for RMU, and Hallinan looks skyward cleanly this time, but Donahue lost it right away, and another clear for Robert Morris. Some adventures here for Donahue on this power play. Interesting uh, the way Derek Schooley's playing the PK. He's keeping Robert and McKellian together. So it's either Robert or Giles as one of the defensemen. Now feed in front, shot saved by Kappelmaster. Another save. Did it go in? It did. It got under the pad of Kappelmaster, and Michigan Tech is on the board first. They score on the power play to make it 1-0, as it appears that the last guy to touch it, I think, was Swoyer. Is that it? No, Alex Smith. Alex Smith is going to get credit for this goal, I believe, Mike. Rolando to the neutral zone. Gives it over to Robert. Five seconds left for RMU. McKillian, long bank pass, comes over to Lon, spinning a shot. Well, that one was a little bit tougher than it looked at first as Jerusic puts it harmlessly into the corner with some rebound control, and that will do it. After 40 minutes of play, Michigan Tech with a power play goal in the second frame, and they lead 1-0 on the RMU Hockey Network. It's underrated as a hockey-producing country and, and what, what the Finns do with their international program. So welcome to town, Santeri. Hart the kind. He, well, yeah. he was uh, playing for the University of Wisconsin. They don't let just anybody do that. Uh-oh, it appears that Kappelmaster's lost his stick. Went all the way over to the corner. Was it really demonstrative letting the other players know? It's just sitting out there, and he is stickless right now. Let's see if Schaefer, Schaefer's trying to give him the stick, and now he doesn't want it. Prefers to play without the stick. Goats deflects it in and almost got through him. Kappelmaster makes the save. That was anxious. A lot. Might be double shifting him. Now Leip exchanging some words here with Adamo. Out to the left point and missing it. Just rolling past him was Cooper Watson. Boy, look at Lalonde flying after it. Yeah, he can really skate. Lalonde tracks it down. Excellent charge there by Lalonde. McKellian, D to D pass over to Robert. Wrist shot deflects off Adamo. It's still loose. Jerusic looking for it, and it's poked in. I think Lalonde got it. Boy, if he did, he deserves it, Tim. That was a simple play that jumped over the stick of the Tech defenseman at the blue line. They're going to give it to Justin Adamo, who got the last stick on it, jumping the fire. Justin Adamo has tied it. One to one, Colonials. They love him as a defensive defenseman. Now Clegg with a chance on the backhand. Shot goes up, rolls up in the goaltender. Following up was Hoffman. Couldn't get a clean rebound shot off. Hallinan, good stick handling to get it out of his defensive zone. Comes back to Hallinan. Shot saved by Kappelmaster with the glove. A little mustard on a hot dog. Play. Along creeping in, tried to reach over to Donahue. Ten seconds left. Just ten on the clock in the neutral zone. One more rush coming for Tech. Piatella with the shot. Gets deflected, stays in the uh, uniform of McKellian down to one second. We'll get overtime. One to one the score after 60 minutes of play. So we'll get five minutes of overtime here. We've got a little ruckus in the corner. Just about everybody who was on the ice is involved. A couple of tech players are thinking better of it. Hallinan, Reitmeyer, and Bliss will be the line from Tech. And then Lynch and Mantenuto and Perkusic out there for RMU. Rakusic flutters it in. Lynch the deepest four checker. Oh, big check applied there. 
by Perkusik who barreled over one of the Tech Huskies. McKellian goes all the way back for RMU. Feeds it over to Mentenudo. Wants to break out to Robert. Instead goes backwards to McKellian. Two-line pass there for Lynch. Knocked by Ford all the way back towards his goalie. Jerusik yeah, cool knocked Bashful. He turned it over to himself. Del wraparound chance coming. Shot comes in. It's loose. Adamo looking for a rebound. Shot came from Lynch. And Jerusik made the save. I was just about to say he's been aggressive playing the puck and maybe too aggressive there. Down to 140 left in OT. One to one the score. Robert enters. The defenseman comes in deep. Mentenudo swaps out and stays back for him. Now Robert still down deep. Tries to feed in front for Lalonde. Shot and a save! Oh, what a save there by Jerusik. Got a penalty coming up. Lalonde was able to elevate. Jerusik made the save. We'll see who the penalty is on, but a shot on goal there for Lalonde with just under 90 seconds left. Yeah, beautiful play out of the corner and Lalonde driving the net. Didn't get the, the goal, but he got the slashing penalty. The year. Fifth and opportunity as Mentenudo digs deep for the faceoff. Spellacy helps from the wing to win it. Lynch thought he was going to get the pass. Robert out there right now. Drops it for Mentenudo. Instructions coming from Spellacy to tell Lynch to go to the center ice area. Now he tries to make a drive in. Shorthanded chance coming here. If Gretzman can hurry, he can. He's got some help on the far side. Shot and a score. A shorthanded goal from Alex Gretzman to win it for the Michigan Tech Huskies. They go on to victory, two to one. Had Misiak running with me, and uh, Bretzman is able to score the goal.